Belize, a country located in Central America and part of the wider Caribbean, is home to a wide array of cultural and ecological diversity. The main economic contributors are tourism, which accounts for 35% of the gross domestic product and agriculture which supplies 30%. One of the main agricultural activities is banana cultivation. But its major export market for bananas is the European Union under the Economic Partnership Agreement. Bananas are produced throughout the year and exported each week. In 2010, 4.5 million boxes of bananas were produced, contributing 35 million US dollars in revenues. Approximately 10% of total employment in Belize is related to the banana industry. Trio Village, located in the south of Belize, is one of the areas where banana cultivation is dominant. Water is a critical component in banana cultivation, used in irrigation and processing activities. The Go Bananas Plantation 6, which occupies 350 acres, utilizes water extracted from the river. The water is pumped at 40 pounds of force per minute when there are insufficient amounts of rainfall to water the crops. This water is distributed to the plantations via sprinkler system where some 990 sprinklers are operational every hour. An optimum quantity of water is necessary for efficient plant growth. Mr. Rodolfo Morales highlights this point. Normal que necesita, porque si no hay el banano Si no hay drenajes, si hay más agua en el suelo, se enferma más ligero la hoja. Y la compañía, si una planta de banano solo tiene tres hojas, ya no quiere comprar el banano. Hay que botar el banano y dejarlo. The large leaves of bananas use a great deal of water. As a result, regular deep watering is needed, especially during dry weather stressing the importance of water in this process. Once the banana is ready for harvesting, the stock is cut and transported to the processing area via a pulley system. At this point, the workers cut the banana from the stock and immerse them in a dilute chemical solution that contains a detergent used to eliminate any pests before they are sorted. This is another section of the banana production where water plays a crucial role. This water, however, is sourced from underground wells. The bananas are sprayed with special chemicals, imizalil and bankit, to eliminate the production of sap after cutting. This prevents staining. The water used to wash the bananas is discharged directly to the river course via drains. There are possible implications on the water quality of the river associated with this wastewater, which contains chemical compounds. Other activities also contribute to the contamination of the river, such as washing, livestock rearing, and other agricultural processes such as citrus cultivation. On the 21st of April, some students conducted water quality tests along the Bladen River, which is near the banana plantation. Tests revealed high levels of phosphates and sulfates, which are associated with chemical detergents such as those used to wash bananas and fertilizers. High levels of these chemicals have possible implications for aquatic ecosystems in terms of eutrophication and the changes in oxygen content of the river. There is also the possibility of contaminants associated with pesticides used on the many plantations along this river. Regular tests for these contaminants should also take place in the river as well as the groundwater supply, as there is also the possibility of contamination in the limestone aquifers. Water is a resource which many take for granted, despite its indirect influence on economic growth. The banana industry, which sustains many livelihoods, and contribute substantially towards the economy cannot survive without this precious resource. However, attention needs to be placed on regulating the outflow of contaminated wastewater from these operations into the environment, 
as this has implications on freshwater ecosystems which houses many natural treasures.